Yo, what's good? Stu, Stu TV. I cover all things blockchain, metaverse, NFTs, all money making opportunities in the space. In this video, I'm just covering a project um, in terms and known. It's like uh, the block investment group, uh, alpha group, better known as the Jelly Cubes. Uh, now, with this project, just going over what are the Jelly Cubes, this could be your first exposure to the project. I'm just going over. I'm um, just currently a Jelly Cube holder and just going over just their e ecosystem and what they're building and everything they're offering. So just to start out, just for, um, like I said, if it's your first exposure, you'll know about the project. The Jelly Cubes is a uh, investment group. It's an alpha group. So it's just where people come in, you have weekly mastermind, weekly video sessions, mastermind sessions where they go over different aspects within the Cardano ecosystem blockchain nfts um going over DeFi, um just in terms of different other blockchain opportunities going over aptos like ethereum solana so just any opportunities in the space they have weekly um open calls where you can kind of bring up any questions or just i'm um, research i'm looking at a project seeing if anybody has any similar thoughts to it so it's just a big mastermind group essentially with that, just in relates to crypto and just everything he's trying to build is kind of like a hedge fund in terms of dominating the mass part of a, like an ecosystem and dominating a blockchain like Solana. I can see his vision, his angle, is just everything he's trying to build. So just like I said before, just going over, um, uh, just like I said before, just going over the jelly cubes. Now, just clicking on some of the links. We can just uh, kind of get into like the rarities page. So it just kind of shows you like the different rarities, like the face, the main, and just kind of like the secondary. So uh, I believe his sister is uh, the illustrator and designer of the Jelly Cube. So how everything got how everything got built there. It kind of gets into the lore. So just the lore of different Jelly Cubes, uh, what points they're worth to just depend on what Jelly Cube that you get, what Jelly Cube that you buy. So it just kind of just depends on just where you get in. But uh, let me scroll down. So it shows you um, just the information. So it's a crypto NFT plays from expert specialized providers. They have release calendars, breakdowns, uh, catalyst news, questions for support staff, block is hot, block funds, plays, Exclusive YouTube content, guide setup strategies. Uh, they have NFT monitor sales, uh, buys discounted applications, whitelist giveaways, new current projects, and future uh, block investment group drops. So just with all that, I just said like a mouthful, but just going just going back with just a crypto NFT uh, play. So I have alpha callers in the group where people will call plays, and I'll show you this later on in the video, but they just have different things where they have plays as far as hey this is a project to pay attention to they have some catalyst news they have a new token release they have something going on uh, as far as they have an announcement they're going to update white paper 2.0 so this have different things and plays that people will be calling just alpha callers just a link is you can go check and see exactly um what they're up to as far as researching and just find out in the ecosystem which cuts down the research for you because you can go in and just click and go look they have release calendars like i mentioned before when it comes into release calendars release calendars and just in terms of hey there's a new uh mint coming up for smooth mountain smooth mountain yeti club actually they're coming this week and they'll just show you different things or it'll just show you uh just the people that's minting not minting undecided so it kind of gives you a temperature check one just to see are people really interested in this project from this group and then two it just shows you uh just different things on how to go from there you can kind of message people and be like why are you going for this project why are you not going for this project what makes you bullish so it just kind of just you can create those conversations they have breakdowns charting analytics uh questions just getting into some of the tools. I know they got group buys as far as scripts to where you can mint your project out faster than somebody else and just get more NLTs and, and different things. I know this has not really been utilized to its maximum just because of like the current cycle as far as the market which, which Cardano is in. I feel like this is going to be useful now, but it's going to be very useful once Cardano NLTs start 
getting more of the spotlight, more of the market share. I know right now it's probably within, you know, just above, you know, one, eight, one million ADA worth of volume. But once it starts pushing past 1.1 and 1.2 and 1.3, and we get into like 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, 6 million, 7 million, hitting those numbers on a consistent basis, those tools, those, those sniping bots, uh, as far as sniping scripts and different things, those things are going to play and come into play, and they're going to be very handy. So just getting into the social network, and they have like-minded individuals. So you can come in, you can just talk, and just have that network. Uh, just having a network of people that you can mastermind and just share ideas with is priceless. I mean, because being out here by yourself, it could be a struggle. It could be a process. You feel overwhelmed. Like, I'll keep up with all these projects. I just tell you right now, just from my personal experience, just from NFTs, just getting into airdrops, even just currently just getting into DeFi and just all these different things, airdrops, if I didn't mention that before, um, just from that, from metaverses, there's so many things in this crypto sphere. It is impossible, in my opinion, it's impossible to keep up with everything. So just having a social network and just what he's trying to build and just having the community just all work together and just help and educate each other on different plays or just me educating somebody on this, but they educate me some on that is priceless in my opinion. Um, just going over like block drops, percentage of ADA earned from a project, sales, royalty, stake pools, collabs will be added to Block's personal Ude wallet. I will be investing the money in flipping, trading NFTs, purchasing crypto, and farming in DeFi. The block group plus the block board can choose to help make my decision. Earnings trades will be published monthly in block reports. I will say this. One thing about block um, I do respect is he is transparent as far as telling us what the overall health of the project is as far as where we are, things that we have to consider just going forward. He does share that with the holders. And in terms of other projects and other ecosystems that people are building, they might not be as transparent. They might not communicate. They might keep things away from this holder. And that's something that I respect in terms of that. It's just, he just keeps it real and just lets me know as far as this is my investment and my money put behind it. And I feel like just him being able to communicate that with the holder as far as the health and the growth of the project that's something that you don't find in every project owner and just different things. So they have a six point uh, minimum uh, to be entered into raffles. So it just kind of shows you, like I said before, the lore and the rares and the epics. Uh, they say use our influence from YouTube social blocks investment group to help new existing project projects market their projects in exchange for member whitelisting partner with the launch pad to split fees. Um, community stake pools, uh, Jelly Cube staking rewards to Mutant DAO, um, Block Token. Um, they're going to have uh, 1v1 coachings. I've actually had the opportunity to actually meet him live in like a group setting. We were with two other people. Uh, we were just celebrating the release of his project. He's a real down to earth, humble guy, uh, really personable. Uh, just different things. It was just a great experience, like meeting him and meeting somebody, just an actual project owner and actually somebody that's actually doing big things on the Cardano ecosystem. So anyway, back to like the 1v1 coaching, the block raffle points, the gelification collabs of other projects, um, block chefs, trusted members of the community that will help us mint projects for a share of the earnings. So it just kind of gets into like the phase one, um, just two, three, and four, and five of the roadmap. So just different things. Uh, they'll have election of block board members. So a lot of these things have already been done. They're going to have their second drop. Uh, it's not a membership drop auto to a whitelist, uh, purchase and constructions of the block queue and established metaverse. So as far as like the block board, they have a lot of those things established already. Um, just a lot of things. I'm not exactly, um, sure to pinpoint exactly what spot but i would say they're just kind of around like the season two as far as the release i know they have a release in january of 1250 uh, jelly cubes is going to be for a white list for it's going to be a white list jelly cube for jelly cubes so how many jelly cubes you hold uh, i don't believe it's going to be a public mint 
but you it is an opportunity if you want to get into this project if you want to get into the block investment group and you're bullish on this project then i suggest that you keep an eye on the secondary because there's going to be paper hands and people that's going to want to sell and, and 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 buy and flip and that is your opportunity to get into this project um so they kind of just get into like Phase five, they'll have season three, documentary creation, uh, merchandise, DeFi, Dow businesses, and some crazy stuff in the future. So just a lot of good things that they're uh, doing. Uh, actually, if you go and see, you can actually look at Jelly Cubes. And you can see that the floor is almost at 4,500 ADA. And that's crazy in three months because, you know, we mended out for, I believe it was like two or 300 ADA. Uh, hindsight, I only got two, but hindsight, looking back, I wish like, I would I wish I would have got four, five, six, seven. But um, it's just an opportunity. It should have, would have, could have. But I'm just glad I got in. It's just at the time that I got in. I know I've been following the block since he's had like less than a thousand subscribers on this channel. So it's just different things within the ecosystem. But, I mean, it's only a handful of jellies just even before you get to a 10K floor. And to, to do that and to be at an opportunity to hit 10K unless it, with a project that's only three months old is just absolutely insane in my opinion. So, it's just a lot of good things to, like, look forward to uh, when it comes to, like, the Block Investment Group. So, they have the Discord, the website, the Twitter. Uh, you click on his YouTube channel. If you're not subscribed to his YouTube channel, then I suggest you subscribe to his YouTube channel. He has a lot of good um, content and channel. Like I said, I've been following him when he had less than 1,000 subscribers, so he gets into how to actually identify. Uh, one thing I respect about him is he actually teaches you how to. He doesn't just say, oh, these bodies, just get these mints or get these projects, but he actually gives you a walkthrough of actually what to look for in a project, how to evaluate certain projects do they have a discord do they have a twitter if they don't that's a red flag uh, uh how's the follower to drop size ratio uh how's the community how do you gauge that he goes over all that and just within his youtube channel so just a lot of good things that he's doing uh just going back they had the staking pool uh just different things uh they had the twitter as far as the block investment group twitter so you can scroll down you can see uh, exactly, and it was a 200, I thought it was 300, but it was 200 ADA for the Mint, and just different stuff that they're doing, I know he had a recent interview with Blake, so this post and all, uh, just catalyst news, and even somebody mentioned having a price, I know a floor price of over 5,000 ADA might be intimidating, but if you need some guidance through crypto and NFTs, it's a small price to pay to educate yourself and get some real alpha and alpha just from Block, but the Block group and all the educated members. So that's why I just believe people are diamond hammering this project just because of utility. There's a lot of value. People see that alpha is being given. Uh, they just learning new things on a daily basis, and you just growing. I mean, if you... If people feel stagnant or just feel like the project doesn't have no real vision or no real direction in what you're going, I know me personally myself, you know, I would be I would be out, but I just see Block, he's always pushing forward. And that's what I want to see from somebody that's the owner of a project is they're always pushing forward, they're always growing, they're always see seeing how can I further advance this project, how can I get more value and just I just feel like Block, he is that type of pro he's that type of person as far as being a leader and an owner and a visionary of a project. So even um, just with all that, they just had their Twitter. So different links, I'll drop all these links in the description below. You can check all these uh, different things. I'm just going to get into the discord uh, for the last part of this video. So I'm, like I said before, they're going to have the jelly cubes. They're going to have the second launch. So they're going to have the day is going to be in January the 14th. Uh, 500 for the eight of mint 1250 like I said before uh, it's gonna be a whitelist uh, mint for uh, jelly holders only so I'm gonna be whitelist and I personally am gonna be keeping all my jellies so I'm not gonna let them touch the secondary but I do believe there's gonna be people that's gonna mint this project and they're gonna have jellies listed on the secondary you could be able to you know buy those jellies and get a part of this investment group 
uh, just at a cheaper rate, just with the second release and the second collection versus the first collection. So if you want to be a part of the Block Investment Group or you see everything that's been building, I suggest you pay attention uh, to that mint and just all the dates leading up because uh, I know there was talks about them uh, possibly doing, you know, uh, one week pass. Uh, I don't want to confirm that and anything I say in this video is not confirmed information or not financial advice But they might be possibly releasing um, You know weekly trial passes where you can be in it for a week and see exactly everything that has to offer But just stay tuned join the discord. I know all the channels won't be available for you But join the discord so that I have announcements so just going over some of the links and some of the uh, channels just within the Discord. So that I have announcements. They'll say uh, different things as far as targets, what they're trying to complete, um, just different things uh, as far as goal-wise and what they're trying to do to move forward. So they'll have minor announcements. So I know last time they had like a Twitter space with Yummy Universe and just different upcoming projects and mints. So they have rules, guidelines, getting started, verify your wallet. Uh, just introduce yourself. I had to scroll, like, scroll up all the way up at the top to really find where I introduced myself. It was, like, somewhere in February, which seems like forever ago. But this project and this Discord has just been built, like, since February. Like I said, I've been following Block uh, for a while, just early beginning this year. Anyway, they have Jelly Cube Origin. They have Big Roadmap. So uh, just different phases of what they're trying to do. Uh, they have Big FAQ. So who's on the team? Who's the mods? So just all different things. Like how, you know, any questions that you may have. Uh, just benefits of joining. Alpha Group, Staking, Income, Ada, Upcoming Project, Launchback, Incubator, and several major utilities along the way. Uh, they had roles, channel FAQ, Twitter raids. So just different posts of uh, Ted Nation is hosting something. And as a jelly holder, you can raid the Twitter. Um, they have um, big announcements. So different things are how he's going to just make changes or just catalyst news or what's going on, the overall health and growth of the project, just being transparent with the members. Like I said before, that's on our respect. They have member announcements, um, just different things that people might need to know or members might share, like upcoming plays, events, big giveaways. So I actually clicked here to join just different whitelists. So they have whitelists, and then you can actually click here, and it'll allow you to join. And it says you've already entered. So then that allows you to get whitelist spots without doing any type of grinding or just playing stumble guys or any type of incentive. Um, they'll have like the VC schedule. So just different VCs. I know they've had Eco Nico's, uh, mad, mad dog car club, best upcoming mint. So undervalued plays, I have a mass mastermind. If you know any projects that seem undervalued, uh, you can let the group know so they can research it. So if you scroll all the way down, uh, it just kind of gets into the undervalued plays post. So you can get into nifty world, dead pixels, mutants. Mune Crocs, Rats, Toads, Beat Boys, Rats Dolls, Chains of War, Ted Nations, Hungry Cows, Clumsy Clumsy Ghosts, Peso Bloods, Marlboros, Ada Invaders. So that is super valuable in terms of, uh, I don't know if I mentioned before in this video, but I personally don't have time to research every single project or know every single thing about the crypto um, ecosystem or just in terms of it is next to impossible to figure out so just having people that are already in those projects are already bullish in those projects or or own a handful of nlts they can go in there and say oh this is the latest of what's going on in boss cat rocker club or um this is the latest of uh what's going on this is the latest of what's going on in ada invaders or dirt burbs or just whatever project so that is super valuable just because it lessens the load and the amount of research that you had to do um in terms of release pros, I know the next mint will be um, just coming up with Radioactive Yeti. So people just say whether they're minting, undecided, not minting, uh, just different things. And it just kind of gives you a temperature check of like what exactly everybody is, you know, going for. What's what's a major play? What's a no-brainer play? 
you know, proceed with caution, that type of thing. So it just kind of gives you a gauge and a temperature check within the group. Um, you can also even ask or tag that person, like, you know, what makes you bullish? What makes you want to go for this play? How are you going about it? So that was a conversation to be had. Uh, they have best minutes, long play, swing trade, undervalue, whitelist. Uh, yeah, so they have best minutes. It's a no-brainer play um, and different things. So with the CNFT alpha calls, um, these are alpha callers within the group. So they got Vendetta, they got K-Boy, they got Brandon, they got Wise Guys, Water Dragon, Vendetta. So all these plays and, and different things where they say this is something to pay attention to. So those are people just like Block and the ex exclusive amount of them that the where you can click on and see exactly like what's the latest plays, what's the latest updates that they have or just the different plays of what they're trying to, what they see in the market, what they see in the ecosystem. This is valuable to where, like I said, lessons of research and different things. Uh, I know just there's been talks about, you know, XRP as far as the lawsuit and, and as far as them winning the winning the, the case with the SEC, how that's going to be bullish upcoming for NFTs and like different things. So just catalyst news, what's going on in the market, what's going on in the updates, and then just getting into like after this call. So like getting started, um, just different launch pads, wallets to use, market players, mar market play, not players, but marketplaces. And then like an NFT calendar. I know there's just some certain things they just update, but they got the Aptos chat to where you can actually see. I know Reed Dolls is like a big project in Aptos. I know they got um I forget, they got the Aptos monkeys and uh just different things and different plays within Aptos and they have, you know, projects that come over from different chains and actually speak and people that, you know, came over from Solana and spoke and just had different like weekly sessions with that. So they'll have like Apto D5, the Twitter, the monitor. Um, they have like ETH calls. So with like Ethereum, they'll show you different uh, Ethereum uh, plays to go for in terms of uh, this is the latest play with the neighborhood. So it kind of gives you a risk, a supply, you know, what's the price. Uh, They'll tell you it's a good Dijon play. Most likely need to use a burner wallet if you're going to participate in any type of like free mints or uh, Ethereum plays. They'll have the Solana plays, uh, just same thing, uh, the same aspect. Go ahead and just use a burner wallet, X, Y, and Z. Um, then they'll have like uh, social. So you have the big chat where you can just come in. You kind of just talk, uh, mastermind people of just talking as you speak. Then you kind of get into crypto and DeFi. You get into like crypto plays. Uh, Cloud, I know he makes uh, some plays on his channel. And then you got like member plays. People can come in. I know I've, I know I've came in and I've uh, done like, I've mentioned like there was a blockchain airdrop coming on Sui just with the second test net. So that's currently in the process of just trying to get applying for an airdrop for that in the time of this video and just different things and they have cnt cnft alerts so um they have just where the floor is um where you can just see where the floor change percentage like so just alerting you on different things something to pay attention to oh like uh all like clay Veras went up like x amount of percentage or it went down X amount of percentage from the floor. That's something I need to pay attention to. What's going on there? What's going to the project? Then from there, you can start doing research, extensive research on there. So just a lot of different things. Uh, just lending Pine. So Twitter analysis, charting analysis. So there's so many. This it's like a mouthful, but there's a lot of things that are building in the block investment group and the jelly cubes. So like I said, just scrolling back up. Um, if you're interested in getting into the block investment group and you're interested in everything, um, that block has going on, I suggest that I suggest that you pay attention and just join the discord, be connected to block, follow his YouTube channel, everything he's got going on and just make sure you pay attention to that secondary is I believe there's going to be people that's going to, you know, not see the value of this project and just come in and just want to flip and just get liquidity 
and just get a quick ADA, uh, just get an ADA boost out of this project. Well, that's an opportunity for you to come in and be a part of this, uh, a part of this community at a discount. But anyway, it's a Stu from Stu TV. And like I said before, none of this is financial advice, but make sure you like, subscribe, comment, make sure you share the video, hit that notification bell below, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.